With 13 Republicans in the running for U.S. Senate, finding a way to stand out among the crowd is key. As political editor John Delano reports, most candidates, like President Trump's ambassador to Denmark, Carla Sands, are hoping for Trump's endorsement. The people that love and support President Trump know that I supported America First policies for the last four plus years. They know they can trust me. Carla Sands says she was an early supporter of Donald Trump. I worked hard to help him get elected, personally contributed, raised a lot of money for him. And he appointed me to his economic advisory council and then as his ambassador to Denmark. I'm the only candidate in this race that has worked on America first the entire time of the Trump administration. While the other GOP candidates talk a good game of support, Sand says, she was actually in the trenches for Trump. I'm the only candidate in this race who actually worked for President Trump, putting forward America first policies. And she minces no words about Pennsylvania in 2020, a state she says was stolen legally from Trump. Do you think the president, President Trump won Pennsylvania in 2020? So Pennsylvania is definitely a Trump state. We're a mostly working class energy state. We're agrarian. This is, this is Trump territory. Sand cites Senator Rand Paul, who has claimed Mark Zuckerberg and others funded efforts to, in their words, infiltrate election offices. And they put a lot of money in Pennsylvania to get this done in key counties. So they were very selective. They were very smart in how they deployed their capital. And they did actually affect the outcome of the 2020 election. Zuckerberg did give over $400 million to two nonpartisan groups that assisted county election offices across the nation with voter outreach and pandemic related safety measures. And without that private money, this is American oligarch money, controlling how that election was held, Donald Trump would be president today. A spokesperson for Zuckerberg has said that a majority of the 2,500 jurisdictions that applied for and got election assistance dollars were Republican. And there's no claim that Zuckerberg or the nonprofits did anything illegal. Sands, like other GOP candidates, is relying on the fact that many Republicans still feel that Trump, who lost the state by over 80,000 votes, actually won Pennsylvania. John Delano, KDKA News.